simplification of your life is the one habit that will completely shift the course of your life. Ever since I started to simplify my life, everything else started to make so much more sense for me. And the amount of time that I freed up purely by doing that has been immense. I've been able to get six months worth of work done in one month. I've been able to speed up all of my processes and the quality of my work has been astronomical compared to when I have multiple things going on in my life at once. The simplification of your life is one of the most hidden but most successful practices that you can start right now. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys my methods because there's so much sauce to this that I don't see enough on YouTube. And there's just so much that you can dive into when it comes to simplifying your life. And you need to look at your life kind of like in, in, in another perspective. It's like, you really have so much going on. Imagine if you didn't have all of that going on. Imagine if you just woke up and all you had was your time. This video is gonna teach you that. This video is a podcast style. You can just put a headphone in, do your work, no crazy edits. If you're looking for dopamine, you can click off. Other than that, we're so close to a thousand subscribers. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and let's get into it. Learn to say no to people. This is the first and foremost, the most important thing that you guys can learn right now. By the way, guys, I am not sweating. I just got out the shower, but yeah, learn to say no to people. So I used to experience this problem a lot, but on my off days, I would experience a lot of backlogging on my schedule. So I would always have to do a favor for somebody all the time. There was always something that came up that I had to do something for somebody. I had to drive somebody here with my gas money, with my mechanical repairs. I had to spend money on this event to help this person get set up. And all of the, the I'm, I worked a full-time job. And those two off days are very, very precious off days. You need to be able to do a lot. When you don't have that ability no more, when having friends becomes a full-time job, that's when it becomes an issue. Imagine if you said no to that, that Costco run for your friend. That's four extra hours of time that you have. Imagine you say no to having to take your friend to back to their school or go to whatever, that's going to free up a boatload of time. Sometimes these favors take the whole day. Now, I'm not saying don't do nothing for people because out of the goodness of your heart, you need to be able to you know do things for people. But if they don't do anything for you, I don't see a reason why you should do something for them. And I see this in my own friends. Like sometimes they'll do stuff for other people and these people don't do anything for them. And I say it all the time, it's like, this person, it's not a trade-off thing. It's about intention. It's like, if the person isn't appreciating the, the task that you're doing for them and they don't even recognize the impact that you're having in their life, I'm not talking about reciprocating. I'm talking about intention. That's when you need to really start to focus on saying no to those people. Just focus on one project and forget the rest. Before all of this in 2020, when I, I could officially say I started my entrepreneurship journey, I used to work on like six projects at one go. I used to be absolutely dialed in on my computer and just grinding every night, doing something here and there, just always doing something. And simplification of your life, you can't do that. I chose YouTube to be the one project that I focus on until I succeed. Like I will die before I quit YouTube, pretty much. I am going to the Marines. So if you guys see me stop uploading, that's because I'm currently in boot camp. But once I get back from boot camp, I'm back to it. Um, but I've been uploading every other day for almost two years now, and I've recently started to see success from it. The true key to success is not a secret at all. It's just consistency. If you do something over and over and over and over again, you're going to match the, the craft. It's, it's a very simple math. It's something that doesn't really take much time to, to figure out, but a lot of people are trying to seek the answer, seek what's the seek, like what's the secret to success? It's literally consistency. It's just doing something over and over and over again until you have all of those hours and time and knowledge 
that you suddenly become the value, the valuable product, whether that be teaching, whether that be creating, whether that be a physical thing, it, it doesn't matter. Focusing on one project and putting your full mental space towards getting really freaking good at that project, that's going to yield way more results than becoming mediocre at six different projects. And this is a lesson I learned for myself. Like I said, a couple years ago, I was doing everything that was trending online, but YouTube has always been like my love ever since I was a kid. Every day, I just loved being on YouTube. So this was the project because I have love for it. But yeah, this is the one business I'm working on. That's it, and my nine to five. But I just quit that because I'm going to the Marines now. But yeah. Schedule your days the night before. This three to five minute tasks, th this three to five minute task changed my life. Seriously, completely shifted the trajectory of my life. Spending five minutes the night before to build out your next day is going to yield an insane amount of results. Because now the next day you're not thinking about what to do or when to do it. You're just thinking about execution. All you're thinking about is, okay, I usually do three one hour blocks of deep work a day because 12 hour work days do not exist. But that's another video. I choose throughout the day my three, my three one hour blocks of deep work that is nothing else but YouTube or nothing else but my sales job. Now that I'm unemployed, YouTube. <laughs> um, by the way, side note, being unemployed for like five days, I'm going crazy. Um, but schedule your days the night before. This is going to yield an insane amount of results because now your body is on autopilot. Your body is doing the work for you. That's when things get scary because all you have to do now is show up. This five minute task just unlocked so much headspace. Now you have nothing else to think about but your execution. It is probably the best tip in this video to schedule your day the night before. Five minute task, that's it. I use Notion Calendar, you can use Google Calendar, whatever. Notion Calendar, you can like put colors, make it really pretty, make it look super simple like I like it. Mine is very simple. I write like two words. It's like YouTube or sales job or deep work. That's what I, that's all I do. And then I put tasks inside of it, but whatever. Become aware of your wants and needs. This is also going to help with the simplification of your life because a lot of people think they need more. A lot of people think they want more when your needs and wants could be right in front of you. You know what I mean? Technically needs, all you need is food, shelter, healthcare, whatever. Wants, people think they need the nicest laptop, but they really just want it. You don't need a MacBook Pro Max, whatever the fuck is out now, to work on your YouTube channel. I have a MacBook Air 2020. Like, you don't need the latest iPhone 18. Like, I don't even know what iPhone is on right now, but that's a want, that's not a need. Truly figure out what your needs are versus your wants, because then your environment starts to get impacted. So if your environment is positively impacted and you're less distracted by your environment, the simplification process is easier because now you have less to distract you. Also, you save a ton of money and you figure out that you can spend way less than you make, which is really good because it's I'm learning very fast that it's not about how much you make, it's about how much you spend. I'm taking an extreme pay cut, but I'm having more money than ever because I'm like on survival mode in my head when I'm just not spending any money. But yeah, the last thing is to schedule your hangouts. I'm not talking about the simplification of your life being you have to be alone all the time. You have to never speak to nobody ever again. No, I'm saying you want to simplify your life so that you can get your work done more efficiently to have an eight hour block of free time to hang out with friends. But schedule your hangouts. Like I have a hangout scheduled this Friday at 5.30 p.m. Trust me, when you schedule your hangouts, not only are you gonna add structure to your life in preparation for the event, it's gonna be more exciting. You're like, oh crap, on Friday, I'm doing this with my friends. 
but I know I need to get this, this, and this done before so that I don't have that guilty feeling while I'm hanging out with them. Because that's the worst thing, to like get that guilty feeling while you're like hanging out with your friends that you're like, dang, I shouldn't be here right now. When you schedule your hangouts, now you know, okay, I, I have up until this time to really lock in on this, to save money for this, to do this and this and this before I get to go, or whatever. I do intense, like long hangouts, like I'll do trips. Um, I'm, I'm more of a big hangout kind of guy. I don't like small things, uh, but yeah, if it's a small hangout, I'll put a three hour window and I'll tell my friends, I'm like, guys, I got three hours with you guys. At this point, it's a joke to where it's like, with my friend group, they know I work really hard. They know I'm very like autistic with my time. Uh, excuse me if I offended anybody, but I'm very like maniacal with my time. So they respect it. If your friend group can pick up that you're very maniacal with your time, you're very like anal about it, they'll probably respect it too. I'll be like, guys, I got three hours with you guys. What are we doing? Cool. Basketball. All right, cool. Wait, it's eight o'clock, guys. I got to dip. I got to make my videos. Whatever. They'll be like, all right, bro. See you soon. Simple. Um, and if they don't respect that, you shouldn't be their friend. But schedule your hangouts. Trust me, smallest tip that is going to add a lot of value to your life take out a lot of the guilt and add fun because now you have a budget of time when you budget your money you have way more than you think when you budget your time you have way more time than you think um but yeah other than that work hard chase your dreams you never don't have time for something you just don't care enough to have time for it keep that in mind you never not you never don't have time for something you just never care enough to have time for that thing work hard Beat the competition. Be number one. Be a winner. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.